creepy looking newly discovered fish lurks a thousand feet down in the cosmonaut sea. Off Tenerife, incredibly rare footage of a creature called a black sea devil was just captured. And two miles down in Argentina, researchers just filmed over 40 species that might be completely new to science. These are creepy creatures scientists captured from the ocean floor. This video was shared on Instagram back in February. Researchers off the coast of Tenerife weren't looking for anything unusual. They were actually in the middle of a shark project when they suddenly spotted something black floating near the surface. First they thought it might be trash, but when they got closer, they realized it was alive. It turned out to be a humpback anglerfish, also called a black sea devil. One of the creepiest looking deep sea creatures alive today. We've talked about these things plenty of times on the channel before, but they're usually only spotted way, way down under the surface and quality footage of them is rare. These fish normally stay anywhere from 200 to 2,000 meters down. They're rarely ever seen alive, certainly never this close to the surface. Photographer David Jara Baguana, who shared the footage on his Instagram, wrote, this could be the first recorded sighting in the world of a black demon or adult abyssal alive in broad daylight and on the surface. He also called it a quote, legendary fish that few people will have had the privilege of observing alive. Sadly though, the thing didn't look healthy. Marine biologist Leah Valor said it only survived for a few hours. Why it came up is still a mystery. Valor said there could be thousands of reasons from illness to escaping a predator. No offense to this creature, but it makes me want to gag. This is a newly discovered species, but in order to talk about how it was first discovered, we gotta go back to 1989. See, that year, a Soviet research ship pulled up some strange fish off the coast of Antarctica. They ended up getting stored away in a collection in Russia. Decades later, researcher Mikhail Nazarkin was digging through those old samples when, as he put it, two unusual fish caught his eye. At first glance, they seemed like a species scientists already knew, but when he looked closer at them, he found they had some physical traits that didn't match anything else. The biggest giveaway was that these fish had unusually large pores on their throats. Turns out this was actually an undiscovered species. He named it this overly complicated sciencey name, but AKA the Cosmonaut C. Eelpout. Nizarkin explained those strange pores on its throat saying, all the pores on the head of these and many other fishes are connected to canals inside the bones of the head. These canals contain receptors sensitive to mechanical vibrations of water. This system helps fish navigate in space and perceive the movements of other objects. So essentially, they're like built-in motion detectors. They were found about a thousand feet down, but beyond that, they don't really know much about these things. That's how rare they are. Two miles down off the coast of Argentina, there's a deep canyon. Down there, scientists just filmed some of the strangest deep sea creatures ever seen. Using an underwater robot in the Mar del Plata Canyon, the Schmidt Ocean Institute team spotted over 40 species that could actually be brand new to science. There was a see-through squid with a horn-like spike, pink lobsters, a king crab with a hundred hitchhiking barnacles stuck to it, and a ghostly looking squid. Millions of people tuned into the live streams, and one fan favorite was this goofy looking starfish that a lot of people compared to Patrick from Spongebob. The robot also caught a mother octopus wrapped protectively around her eggs, glowing comb jellies, and bright red crabs crawling over the sea floor. Scientists collected specimens to confirm whether they're new species. As researcher Jonathan Flores put it, deep sea canyons are biodiversity hotspots, yet we still know very little about them. Researchers just got some very rare footage of a creature most people only know from dead specimens and stories, a colossal squid. First time ever an international team filming with a remotely operated submersible caught one on camera near the South Sandwich Islands in the South Atlantic. The squid was a juvenile, about a foot long, spotted 1,968 feet down. Full grown adults can reach 23 feet though, crazy. The tiny squid they filmed was almost completely transparent, thin arms, which makes it look like some kind of alien thing floating in the water. Adults lose that translucent look and turn a deep red or purple. The expedition's goal was to explore new sea life, but catching this thing on camera is definitely a bonus. Researchers are now experimenting with different camera setups in the hopes of filming a fully grown colossal squid. That would be incredible. Next on the list, we have this horrific looking monster. This is a bobbit worm. The name definitely doesn't fit the image. I mean, a bobbit worm sounds more like a little 
fuzzy creature from a fairy tale, doesn't it? But these things are scary. They burrow into the sea floor. It can grow up to 10 feet long. Their mouths are full of razor sharp scissor like jaws that snap shut in a fraction of a second. They hide completely underground, only leaving a few antennas sticking out so they can sense their prey. When something does swim too close, the bobbit worm snaps them up. It's like an underwater version of a, a sandworm from Dune. Look at this thing, ew. Looks like one of those uh, like stitched together creature hoaxes that'd be paraded around a freak show, right? Back in the day. But this is actually a, a real species. It's called the black swallower. It doesn't always look like this. It just has a poor fishy trapped in that massive pouch on its underside. The black swallower isn't all that big itself, usually only about eight to 10 inches long, but its stomach is incredibly stretchy, like a deflated balloon. That means it can eat things much, much bigger than its own body. Sometimes a fish that's twice its length and 10 times its weight. Food is scarce in the deep sea. So when it finds a meal, it can't afford to be picky or slow. So it just opens its jaw and gulps it up. The prey slides down into its stomach where it's packed away for a long time. These things kind of feed like snakes. Here's an early fact. Sometimes the meal is so big that the fish can't even digest it quickly enough. So the prey starts to decompose inside the swallower's stomach. That releases gases that make the swallower inflate like a balloon and float to the surface where they die. That's how most of these fish have been found by scientists. It's uh, really a literal case of their eyes being too big for their stomach. Shout out to all the arachnophobes in the audience. We got the giant sea spider next. Now these things aren't actually true spiders. They belong to a totally different group of arthropods. These things live in deep, cold parts of the ocean, especially around Antarctica. They have incredibly long, spindly legs, as you can see, very creepy. Not that you need me to tell you that. Despite how long their legs are though, I mean, look at the body, super tiny, so small in fact, it can't actually hold all its organs. So parts of its stomach and other guts actually extend all the way down into the legs. I've never heard of anything like that before in my life. It's like a creature that's just a head with eight legs attached. Some of these things have a leg span of over two feet. Now, how do they hunt? They have a long snout called a proboscis, which they use to suck the insides out of their prey. Brutal. Scientists are still learning about them. For a long time, we didn't know much about their life cycle, but now we know that in some species, the male takes on a strange role. He glues the eggs to the seafloor and stands guard over them for months until they hatch. The gulper eel. These things are very strange. First thing you notice about this creature is of course the massive mouth. The scientific name is this, but it's also nicknamed the pelican eel because just look at it. The gulper eel's mouth could open incredibly wide even wider than the rest of its body. That's because it has a super stretchy throat pouch. Not a strong swimmer and it can't see very well, so it just kind of hangs out in the ocean and waits for food to come by. It has a glowing tip on its tail that acts like a fishing lure, attracting prey to it. And when a small fish, squid or shrimp gets too close, the gulper eel quickly opens its mouth and gulps them down along with a bunch of water. Then it pushes the water out through its gills. Stomach is also very stretchy, so it can swallow prey larger than its body. Next up is the vampire squid. No, it doesn't actually suck blood, but it's still one of the creepiest things down there and the coolest. Its body is almost completely black. Bright red eyes glow in the darkness and long webbed arms that stretch out kinda like a cloak. The official name Vampirotesius infernalis translates to vampire squid from hell which is why this is now officially my favorite squid, giant squids included. It spends its life thousands of feet down in the deep ocean in low oxygen water that would kill most other predators. The arms have little spiny projections, which it uses to grab debris and tiny plankton drifting by. These things have a pretty cool defense strategy too. When threatened, it can pull its arms inside its cloak, because that's just what I'm gonna call it now, and inverts itself, it becomes this kind of spinning black ball. The vampire squid from hell also has light producing organs on its body called photophores, which it can flash to confuse predators or attract prey. It looks menacing. Its name is the coolest name for an animal I've ever heard, but it doesn't actively hunt. It mostly survives on bits of dead organic matter that drift through the ocean. Still an awesome creature though. Finally, the deep sea lizard fish. This thing sort of looks like a mix between a snake and a shark with a long thin body and a mouth full of needle sharp teeth that stick out even when it's closed. 
It's an ambush predator, so it'll lie hidden in the sand or by rocks waiting for some unlucky fish to swim by. When that happens, it snaps its jaw and drags its prey into the darkness. They're built for survival in one of the harshest places on Earth, so it's no wonder they look so damn creepy. With all that said, I've been your host, James. I'll catch you, yes, you specifically, next time. Mm -hmm.